Hey Gary, it's Jeff with Gary Moore. We're here at the Makeup Group booth at the NRA annual, what is it, annual meetings and exhibits. They make that a mouthful. And uh, Ed's going to tell us about a whole variety of products. Uh, some of them we're going to do reviews on soon. Uh, others we're just getting a sneak peek at here at the show. So Ed, uh, what exciting stuff do you have for us? Before I start, I want to talk about the Makeup Group. Meko Group is an importer of products from Israel. Everything we sell is made in Israel. And it's all made in Israel for the Israeli military. Right. Uh, so it's all mill spec, it's all really uh, tough stuff. Uh, Meko Light makes sights, uh, optics. We have Fab Defense that make uh, all the accessories. We have uh, Frontline that makes holsters. And uh, RTS, the company that makes uh, targets. Um, let's start talking about new products from Meko Light. A night sight is called Meko FT. F is in Frank, T is in Tom. It's a really unique night sight which basically uh, eliminates the need for a front sight. Once you see the circle in the dark, uh, you have a target on, so you don't need you don't need to align two sides. Okay, there's a circle and a dot in the back. Once you see it, you're on target. I, I don't know from the from the video. I know it doesn't pick it up really well. But when I looked through that the first time I got it lined up, I was like, wow, that's bright. Um, and this is just capturing ambient light with a nice light suit, right? I mean, there's, there's it's no battery, there's no light in it, but right. it is bright. So that's, that's, a really, that's a really neat sight. I like that. Okay. Yep. So that's the Mepo uh, FT. It's a new sight for us, and you can get it in red or green. Appreciate it. I'll get that out Um Let's start with the optics. The M21, a lot of people are familiar with it. It's the standard sight on the Tabor rifle uh, in the Israeli military. Uh, it goes, it's basically the standard sight on the AR platform. The Tabor and, and, uh, and the, M, uh, uh, the uh, M16, the Israeli view. Very tough sight, has no batteries, no switches. It's always on. Day or night, and it's night vision compatible. You don't have, when you grab it, you don't have to remember to turn it on. You go to night vision, you don't have to remember to go to night vision mode. It's always ready. Very tough. Uh, retail is around 500 bucks. Okay. So that's one side. Uh, second side, which is new, also from Metrolite. The military, the Israeli military buying them now and starting to use them as well. It's a uh, 0.08 MOA okay. and it has battery, a very simple basic sight with a battery. Uh, it retails around $399 and it's night vision compatible. Okay, and that has... Um it has quick release on it, or you have to. All, okay, it's got two quick, quick, quick release. Quick release. Awesome. All, all right. Quick and, release. Uh, the one with the battery has a sensor in it. So if I leave it on and then leave the gun in the case and it doesn't move for 60 seconds, it shuts itself off. Oh, wow. To save battery life. And what's your battery life expectation? 10,000 hours. 10,000 hours, okay. Excellent. We're looking forward to getting a hold of one of those to review. The next site for Mepo Light is the Mepo Mo. Uh, this site is basically a reflex site, we added batteries to it, it's got two built-in lasers. So you can see, and I can not aim it. Take the camera? Yeah, you can see it. Oh, there we go. You can see the laser really good. Right? It comes with two lasers, a red laser and an infrared laser. And there's a civilian version that you can buy with only the red laser. And it takes uh, one AAA battery, just like this one, AAA battery. Okay. We don't use the CR123, 
Why? Because if you're in Afghanistan, in a boondock, <laughs> and you break into the local uh, Walmart, you're not going to find the CR-123 battery, but you can find the AA battery. Uh, there's only need for one battery, there's room for two. Doesn't matter where you drop the one battery, it's going to work. And if you put two batteries, you just double the time. It will go automatically from one to the other. And in case you lose the battery, you still have the sight, day or night, and it's night vision compatible. So the sight you have all the time. Doesn't matter if you have batteries or not. Nice. You don't have batteries, batteries just for laser. Okay. Just for the laser. Nice. Exactly. Yeah. And same deal here. It has a sensor in it. The, the gun doesn't move. 60 seconds. Stuff. Nice. Uh, this here is the magnifier. 3x magnifier for Mercolite. Uh, very simple, very, very clear. Okay. When you look at it, you can tell the difference between this and the competitor. That's about it. Okay. Right, let, let me talk about something real quick because this is something that you, that you pointed out. Uh, this is a pretty cool butt stock. It's got a little protrusion in the bottom that uh, is actually a spare magazine. So I, I've always thought that uh, that was uh, an opportunity. There's space there you can use. Some people put, you know, uh, containers you can put things in, but ammo may be a little bit more important. So that's uh, really, really cool. I like that with a rubber bat pad on the end. Uh, we're gonna review one of these in the, in the future as well. So, very, very cool. That's from uh, Fab Defense in Israel also. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about accessories. Uh, this here, for example, uh, I wanna stand here because I'm gonna show him, I'm gonna stand on it. I want to stand on it, so I want you to, yep. to see okay. it, okay? Basically, oh, nice. got it? It's a front grip, and it opens to a bypass, and you can rotate the gun left and right. And because everything we made is made for military, like I said, it's all real specs, it's very tough. <laughs> can carry me, no problem, and you can still use it. Perfect for a gun, you know, for this platform. It's not a sniper rifle, you don't really need a bike for all the time, but sometimes you want to take uh, a long range shot. You have the bipod, you can put it on a wall. You know, you can lay down and take a long range shot, you're done with it. You got the grip. We got a specific request to look at this teapot uh, from one of our readers. So uh, here you go, delivering the good for you. That's a teapot. Thanks for the, uh, the inquiry about that product. Yeah. And you can get it in all kinds of variation. We have them where you can put a, your own flashlight. It comes with a flashlight, without a flashlight. Not rotating. All kinds of different uh, variations. Second thing is uh, one of our best sellers is that grip. A lot of people, you know, old people like to grip the gun like that, yeah. and that gives you a really good uh, grip. You don't put your your hands on the magazine, so you have let this uh, jam, and the magazine change is, uh, is faster because it's a little bit better. Yeah, give you a guide yeah. to put the magazine in. Yeah. Pistol grip is rubberized, so I can say anything. Yeah, let's see how that feels. Feels really yeah. good. That, that is pretty good. I, I felt some grips that were kind of spongy. I didn't like the feel of the rubber. Yeah, that, uh, yeah I like the feel of that rubber. And it's got uh, battery storage and stuff. Um, this stuff. It's got battery storage, which is waterproof. Okay. okay. You can change the butt part. This one here is to work with the with the vest, ceramic vest. Okay. And the biggest advantage of this is that it has a built-in recoil spring. So the stock oh, wow. itself, the stock itself has its own recoil mechanism. Yeah. It's really nice when you want to get a good firm grip on your gun. Or oh, if you have a uh, 7.62 AK shotgun, you would go on anything with the two. All our 
stocks will go on anything with the tube. It doesn't matter if it's commercial or milk stock. We have these two lips here. Okay, also on the other one. That prevent it from shaking. So, like I said, there's a lot of attention to detail because it's made for military. You can have a soldier sneak up on you with, uh, you know, sound right. like, uh, like, I don't know. So this is the GL uh, shock. It retails for around less than 100 bucks. So the prices are really, uh, really good. And last thing we can talk about is uh, KPOS. It's a Glock conversion kit. Um, and with this one here, you do need the $200 stamp uh, short barrel rifle. We have one with the stock, with the AR pistol stock, so you don't need you don't need the uh, right. the the attack stamp. Ah. It's very that, compact. That's interesting. Yeah. It folds into a very small package. Okay. The front grip is also function as a safety. Pull it out, it covers the trigger, so when it's on you, under a jacket, nothing will get in the trigger. Right. Also, you can use it if you have big hands, no buttons to press, springs to go bad. You pull it up, and down. And, and the adjuster, it looks like you don't need a special you tool to a, change the height here. Right. That's, that's nice just by the itself. front and the rear, you don't need a special tool. And you can get them, we combine them with Mepolite. So you can get them with night sights. This one here, for example, you can see it's got yeah. tritium in it. That, that is nice. And That's it's got really interesting. Tritium also. Yeah. Wow, okay. So you can get it with or without the night sight, wow. which is really cool. Yes, it is. Very cool. So a lot of cool stuff here. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff here. I like the, the little fold-out bipod on the Tabor. That is... That is pretty slick. And then so the release is back here in the back. Yep. You, so you just hit it with the heel of your hand. <laughs> a, a lot of well-designed products here that uh, they're pretty exciting. I like this. Nice. All right, Ed, I think we covered everything. Yeah. Well, thank you, sir. Thank we, you we appreciate the course, the great product.